Join me as I take on the challenge of repairing trust after a breakup and share my complete guide for 2024. In this video, you'll learn how to repair trust after a breakup, a transformative process that can lead to healing, personal growth, and a brighter future. Breakups often leave emotional scars, and one of the biggest challenges is mending the broken trust during the relationship. Trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, and when it's broken, it can be incredibly difficult to repair. The sad truth is that many of us have experienced the pain of a broken relationship, and it can be overwhelming to think about how to move forward. But the good news is that it's not impossible to rebuild trust, and with the right approach, you can start healing and moving forward. The first step is to acknowledge the pain and take responsibility for your actions, which can be really tough. Getting stuck in a cycle of blame and resentment is easy, but this will only hold you back from moving forward. Instead, focus on your actions and how you can learn and grow from the experience. This doesn't mean that your partner is off the hook, but it does mean that you're taking control of your own healing process. Remember, you can't control how others behave, but you can control how you react to them. By taking ownership of your actions, you can start to rebuild trust with yourself, which is the first step in rebuilding trust with someone else. Rebuilding trust also requires you to look hard at your behaviors and habits and make some changes. This might mean setting boundaries, being more open and honest in communication, or working on your emotional intelligence. It's not always easy, but it's a crucial part of the process. And remember, rebuilding trust isn't just about fixing the other person, it's about fixing yourself too. When you take responsibility for your actions and make positive changes, you'll be more likely to attract trustworthy and respectful people. Building trust after a breakup requires patience, effort, and commitment. It cannot be fixed overnight, but with time and dedication, you can start rebuilding a stronger, healthier relationship. We'll explore practical steps and strategies to rebuild trust, including open communication, setting boundaries, and self-reflection. One of the most important things you can do is practice open and honest communication. This means being willing to listen to your partner and express your own feelings and needs in a clear and respectful way. It's not always easy, especially if you're dealing with difficult emotions like anger or resentment. But by communicating openly and honestly, you can start to rebuild trust and understanding. Another key strategy is to set clear boundaries. This means being clear about what you are and aren't comfortable with and being willing to assert yourself when necessary. Boundaries are essential for building trust because they help to establish a sense of safety and respect. When you set clear boundaries, you show your partner that you respect yourself and expect them to do the same. And remember, boundaries aren't just about saying no, they're crucial to rebuilding trust. This means taking the time to think about your own actions and behaviors and how they may have contributed to the breakdown of trust. It's not always easy to look at ourselves critically, but it's an essential part of the process. By reflecting on your actions, you can identify areas where you need to grow and change and make positive changes to help you say yes to what you want and need. Self-reflection is a powerful tool in rebuilding trust. By critically examining your actions and behaviors, you can identify areas for growth and change, empowering you to rebuild trust on your terms. Rebuilding trust is a journey that requires patience and commitment. It's not a quick fix, but with dedication and effort from both partners, a stronger, healthier relationship is within reach. The key to repairing trust lies in vulnerability and honesty, we'll share powerful insights from experts that can transform your approach. According to Dr. Brené Brown, vulnerability is the birthplace of trust. When we're willing to be vulnerable and honest, we open ourselves up to the possibility of deeper connection and intimacy. This isn't always easy, especially if we've been hurt in the past. But by being willing to take the leap and be vulnerable, we can rebuild trust in ourselves and others. Another expert, Dr. Esther Perel, says trust is built on reliability, authenticity, and transparency. When we can rely on our partners to show up and be who they say they are, we start to build trust. When we're authentic and true to ourselves, we build trust in ourselves. And when we're transparent and honest in our communication, we build trust with others. Rebuilding trust also requires letting go of our need for control and perfection. When we can let go of our need for control, we can build trust in ourselves and others. 
and when we're willing to let go of our need for perfection, we can build trust in our abilities and in the process of rebuilding. Finally, rebuilding trust requires us to take a leap of faith. When we're willing to trust again, we open ourselves up to the possibility of deeper connection and intimacy. It's not always easy, but it's a crucial part of the process. To wrap up, remember that rebuilding trust takes time and effort, but it's a journey worth taking for your emotional well-being. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to check out our other videos on relationship advice and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Your insights could be valuable to others going through a similar journey.